60 Minutes Rewind. Now that the Chicago Cubs have finally won the World Series, what does baseball do for an encore? Here's a story to follow. The most fearsome starting pitcher in Japanese baseball is a 22-year-old named Shohei Otani. The most prolific hitter in Japanese baseball is a 22-year-old named Shohei Otani. Last year, he won the league's home run derby and threw its fastest pitch ever. Already a sensation across the Pacific, Otani is largely unknown here. But Japan's two-way mystery man is expected to come to the majors at the end of this season, where he vows to continue his unlikely moonlighting act, batting left and pitching right. Should he pull it off, Otani will become the first major leaguer in a century to figure in a team's starting rotation and in its everyday hitting lineup. The last such player was a guy named Babe Ruth. We traveled to Japan a few weeks ago to meet Otani, his first interview with an American television network, but we first laid eyes on him in Arizona, where his team holds spring training. This sliver through the fence of a batting cage made for a fitting introduction. We found dozens of Japanese outlets angling for a slice, any slice, of Otani in action. Cameras follow him, to the exclusion of every other player on the field. And so do the fans. We met supporters who traveled 5,000 miles to the desert southwest just to watch him train. Having glimpsed the Otani phenomenon on the road, we were eager to explore it on his turf. Our search to find what all the fuss was about took us here to Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost island. It's home to the national champion baseball team, the Nippon Ham Fighters. It's also home to the sport's most intriguing prospect. Shohei Otani looms large in the snowy Hokkaido town of Sapporo. If Tokyo is a fastball, Sapporo is a curveball. Japan's fifth largest city feels not unlike a laid back ski village. But this is a baseball town. And this is the home stadium, the Sapporo Dome. It's here we sat down with Otani. We broke the ice with a question about what we'd heard was his favorite local fast food. Very important question. In-N-Out Burger, mm. Captain Kangaroo Burger. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo. Better? <laughs> Towering and affable, Otani's working on his English, but felt more comfortable using a translator during our interview. I want to ask you about coming to the majors, but should we say if or should we say when? <laughs> That's a tough one. I mean, nothing is for certain, so I guess it's if. Despite that cautious response, Otani eagerly revealed which major league players he looks most forward to facing. No less than MVP hitter Bryce Harper and star pitcher Clayton Kershaw. I watch Bryce Harper, Clayton Kershaw. Pitcher and a hitter. <laughs> yeah, unlike me, Kershaw is a lefty. Do you see a little of yourself in both Kershaw and Harper? I actually do see myself. <laughs> and I actually try throwing lefty sometimes. How do you think you do against Kershaw? Just thinking about facing him makes me really happy and excited. I could just tell he's such a great pitcher through the TV screen. How would you pitch to Harper? I would have to go with my best pitch, which is the fastball. I want to see how my best pitch fares against one of the best hitters. Likely quite well. Throwing his dancing fastball, Otani strikes out batters at a higher rate than Kershaw. Unfurling his violent yet somehow elegant swing, he hits home runs at a higher rate than Harper. There are days Otani makes baseball look almost laughably easy. Consider this performance last summer. On the very first pitch of the game, Otani, batting leadoff, hit a home run. He then pitched eight shutout innings and struck out 10 batters. At six foot four, the designated hitter turned pitcher reliably brings the crowd to its feet. When he threw the fastest pitch, breaking his own record, even opponents looked on in astonishment. Last year, you threw a pitch 165 kilometers an hour, more than 102 miles an hour. How much faster can you throw than 102.5? I don't have an exact answer for that, but I'm still young. I'm still 22. I think there's more room to grow. Thank you. 
As seasons go, 2016 will be hard to top. The Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters took the Japan Series. Otani was his league's MVP. About that name, the fighters are owned by Nippon Ham, makers of Japan's best-selling sausages. And while, yes, the name resists serious treatment, the team itself is widely regarded as the most innovative in the league. Manager Hideki Kuriyama groomed former fighters pitcher Yu Darvish, now an ace for the Texas Rangers. Can you compare this to anything you've seen? Yeah, I like this man. No, never seen anything like it, never. What's it like having a player who's your best pitcher and also your best hitter? He's so talented. It's really tough to use him the right way, with the right balance. If you thought Moneyball, the practice of using baseball data over intuition, contorted a manager's conventional thinking, try overseeing a two-way player. Kuriyama's formula? He pitches Otani on Sundays, then bats him the rest of the week, with a day or two off before each start. Distractions are to be kept to a minimum. Same goes for praise. Shohei Otani may be the star of the team, but Kuriyama doesn't exactly coddle the guy. Last year when we won the championship, it was the first time he gave me a compliment, and he said, that was great pitching. Never complimented you before that. <laughs> Not once. He always says, you've got to get better. And Kuriyama has his reasons. I truly believe he's a lot better than where he's at right now. The crowd at the Sapporo Dome is less stingy with its praise. You don't get a lot of quiet time here, no peanuts and cracker jacks either, but plenty of the local beer. A college football style atmosphere pervades. The caliber of play is considered one level below the major leagues in America. Top Japanese players, names like Ichiro and Matsui, aspire to compete against the very best in the US. Even amid such companies, Shohei Otani sticks out. Expat John Gibson has reported on Japanese baseball for 20 years. What's it like covering this guy? You think about a guy who throws 101 and then a guy who hits home runs, and that's a comic book character. That's not somebody you're thinking about in real life. You know, nobody does that. Who does that? We'd hope to leave the Sapporo Dome with Otani, get to know the mortal behind the comic book character. Thank you. But he politely declined our invitation. Not even a quick Captain Kangaroo burger. So we invited a couple of his teammates instead. Brandon Laird and Luis Mendoza are two of the team's gaijin, or foreign players. Laird saw action as a Yankee. Mendoza once pitched for the Rangers and the Royals. Sapporo's not a bad place to be a gaijin. How are you doing? You good? Good to see you. Over dinner at their favorite spot in town, Laird told us that Otani is the most talented teammate he's ever had. This from a guy who played with Derek Jeter and Alex Rodriguez. Some pitchers can hit, but I mean, he actually does it in a game. Like he's in our lineup, you know, and it's impressive. Watch him hit the ball. I um, mean, it's like a Miguel Cabrera, you know, power and kind of power, you know. Like. He reminds you of Cabrera? Yeah, definitely. You guys been out with him? Uh, no. I mean, he doesn't really do anything. He's just, just a mellow kid. Just goes back to the dorm. Yes, the biggest star in Japanese baseball, with a reported salary of roughly $2 million, apart from not owning a car, lives in these minimalist team dorms. <laughs> Otani confirmed to us that he seldom leaves the facility. Not that it keeps fans from waiting for him outside. Even from a distance, plenty of observations can be made about the pitching slugger or the slugging pitcher. He is meticulous, stopping mid-pitch to adjust his form, open to advice from his batting coaches. Even baseball tedium provides a source of enjoyment. This is someone who plays baseball but has always worked at it too. Otani grew up in a small industrial town on Japan's mainland. His father, once an amateur player himself, coached his son's Little League teams. Shohei Otani showed promise as a hitter, but drew more interest as a pitcher, occasioning stealth visits from American scouts while he was still in high school. At age 18, he held a press conference to announce his major league intentions. 
and went so far as to tell Japanese teams not to draft him. But the Nippon Ham Fighters, again known for doing things their own way, drafted him nonetheless. Every other team besides the fighters was looking at me as a pitcher. But the fighters were going to allow me to do both pitching and hitting. Honestly, I wasn't even thinking about doing both on a professional level. But they approached me in that way and I wanted to take the chance. The story will continue after this. That's your fastball grip? Fastball. Splitter. You have, you have a splitter? True to their word, the fighters have cultivated Otani as a hitter as well as a pitcher. We asked him about his forebear. People have compared you to Babe Ruth. What do you think about when you hear the name Babe Ruth? Babe Ruth, any kind of He's like a mythical character to me. <laughs> because it's such a long time ago and he was God to baseball. I shouldn't be compared to him. At least not right now. But maybe someday soon. The fighters have said they'll permit Otani to negotiate with major league teams after this season. Hideki Kuriyama says the time is right. For our team, we're all for him going to the States. Best player on the team, this amazing two-way talent, you're okay with him going to the major leagues? Yeah, as a manager, it's going to hurt. It's tough that way. But more than that, I want him to succeed. Back in the U.S., news of Otani's imminent arrival was a hot topic at spring training, though, weary of tipping their hand, execs we approached would only talk off camera. Dave DeFreitas was a scout for the Yankees and the Indians. He watched Otani come of age in Japan. Now independent, he produces scouting reports for the website 2080 Baseball. Everybody is interested. Scouts are going over there all year this year to watch him. I think if the team tells you they're not interested, they're probably lying to you. <laughs> it's, uh, you're talking about a, a young kid that's one of the best talents in the game on the planet. Otani told us he doesn't have an agent yet, but he's going to need one. His path to the majors won't exactly be straightforward. A new collective bargaining agreement caps at $6 million what teams can pay any foreign player under the age of 25, even those who ritually send balls dinging into the outfield seats. By coming before he turns 25, Otani could be leaving tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars on the table. The timing of when you come to the majors could make a big, big difference in terms of salary. Does, does that concern you? Personally, I don't care how much I get paid or how much less I get paid because of this. This may be the rare case where it's not about the money. Rather, the deal with Otani may hinge on which team will let him keep pitching and hitting. You think he's in a position now where he can say to teams, listen, if you're not going to play me both ways, I'm probably not your guy. I think he won't even talk to them if they don't. Really? I think he won't even have a meeting with them. No matter where he ends up, it's hard to root against the great Otani experiment. Here in Sapporo, where his departure will be bittersweet, they'll be cheering the loudest.